Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second round of WRL Season 5, of course, the Bahrain Grand Prix. We currently have provisional pole. Oh no, Dubsy knocks us off by seven thousandths of a second. As I prepare for this final run, we are purple, but oh, we've just lost the rear end there. We're going to have to jam it into lean and save the tyres for another crack next lap, the second flying lap on this set of super softs, which is, of course, not ideal. But the Delta suggests we have a good chance here. We've slightly screwed up the last corner, but it should be still enough for a 30.5. Wow. So, second pole position in the game. First in this leg and first in the dry. And that's one and four for Ferrari on the grid. Fantastic stuff. I'm getting ready to go now. And what's this I see in the mirror? It's a manor, and Afro has jumped the start. He must have gone on roughly the second light. That's a big jump. And, well, he's going to be serving a penalty, so we're not too concerned about him. But behind, Cena has overtaken Dubsy, and the positions are flickering between the two of them, and it looks like Dubsy's retaken that. No, Cena, now Dubsy again. So, big battle between those two. The other manor, of course, Afro pitting to serve his penalty at the end of the first lap. And we stretched our margin a little bit, but went also longer on the super softs. So the undercut was very effective for Cena, who pitted two laps earlier onto mediums. So we covered him onto mediums as well, hoping to cover his potential two stop if he has another set. And he really got close to us there. He's very close still the next lap. He might have a chance to overtake us here in DRS. A little bit of contact as we'll sweep back around the outside to maintain the net lead as Murph is yet to pit on his soft compound tyres. He's done so in the meantime as we're on to lap 13 now. We have a little bit of a gap back to Cena and another little bit of a gap back to Dubsy. HSV was running strong at the start but he's dropped off. We now search for the next set of mediums and did not find them. Inters with the next compound after softs which indicated to me that I did not have another set. I made the wrong choice on compounds at the start. So at this point, Cena was in the driving seat, only four seconds behind, but probably needing to make one less pit stop than myself. And you see there, he starts to drop back a lot after taking that left-hander on the map. And the reason for that was he had sustained a puncture to the left front, I believe. And that really changed the race, swinging it back in my favor and now possibly Dubsy's favour, as he'd already committed to a three stop and I was going to have to change to one. On go the soft compound tyres and there's Dubsy having made a massive undercut on me. And uh, well, I guess he's in the driving seat, although he has track position, we have DRS, we also have fresher tyres. So we're going to try and take the inside here on the second DRS straight, not many moves are made here but such as the grip advantage I had, that that was quite easy. But of course, Dubsy the fighter that he is, that was not over, and with DRS on the main straight, he would try to come back down the inside, slightly outbreak himself, I'm going to say, and I was able to sweep back around the outside at turn two. Brief battle, not the biggest we've ever had, but there it was. I actually pitted before him in order to get an undercut onto the super soft tyres, and that proved it was a good move as both men has pit in front of me. I elevate myself from P3 to P1 and a massive undercut on Dubsy. Massive undercut sort of the name of the game at this track it seems. And you can see there that scene is actually overtaking Dubsy. But once again he would fall to the wayside with a puncture, his second of the race. And uh, well, he really put paid to not only the victory for him but also a podium. Anyhow, this lap here is the fastest lap of the race. I'll shut up for the rest of it and we can enjoy.
So just one more corner to negotiate on this fastest lap, which would happen to be a 32-3. And now it's time to consider, could this be the end of my massive drought, massive winless streak? 515 days in all leagues, 568 days in WRL, and now it's the final lap. If I do this, I also take the championship lead for the first time in 515 days. And it looks like it's going to be a reality. Fireworks! A blaze for victory in Bahrain. P2 to Dubsy, P3 for Afro, two manners on the podium. Next race is in China. I'll see you guys then.